Hello guys, when I started writing automated tests for PHP unit in Laravel, not sure if it's the same for you, my overall question and number one question was how to write the asserts, how to formulate, how to test the correct results. And for those simple cases, it's very easy. Assert OK or assert status 200 means there is no error if you get to some home page or something. So that is the easy part. But in this video, I want to show you a more complicated thing a few tips from real project, how to test if the list of data on a specific page is correct or incorrect. Let's take a look at a few examples. So this is a PHP unit test from Laravel. It's refreshing database every time and then seeding some data for each test. And if you launch that with PHP artisan test with specific test for the class, there are five tests all passed. So it's a working example. And let's take a look at this one. Basically, you launch the home page and you want to test that a certain item, certain course is visible on that home page. Of course, you can assert the HTML, like whether the page HTML contains the title of that item, but that is not 100% reliable because that title may be also present elsewhere, like on the sidebar footer or just randomly something if the title is really a popular word like draft or default or something. The best way to check the data if it is present in the blade view is actually to use assert view has. And this is how it works. So when we get the URL and that URL corresponds to the controller, this method index. So we get all the courses and we pass the courses to the view and we can assert in the test the value of this exact variable. So we can assert view has courses with some condition. So in this case, the condition is a callback function from those courses, and that is a collection. And we use course as the course that we have seeded with the factory. And with collection function, we check if that collection of courses contains this exact course. And the purpose of this test is to test the published course is visible. And by the way, side tip for factories within tests in the course factory file, in addition to default rules of the course fake data, you may specify states. So for example, these rules for faking the course data, and then additionally state of published, which overrides or adds a value of is published true. And then whenever you use that factory in any test method, you can use the factory with published as state. So that makes the test readable. And that's, by the way, one of the qualities what should be in the tests. So any other developer, for example, a new developer on the project, they should be able to launch tests and then open the tests almost like a documentation. So what should be the correct cases for the pages to load? So they read test the homepage shows published courses. So even the name of the test is important. And then we see the published data. So you're reading almost like English language. We create a course, we get to home, and then we assert that the view has courses, which contains the course. Again, almost like English language. So the factory states help the tests to be more readable. And a few more examples similar to this, but with more complicated logic. The opposite test, test that homepage hides draft courses. This is probably more important. So this is kind of the ideal scenario, which would be probably okay. But with draft, you need to test specifically that the courses does not contain the course of draft. And then a more interesting example is ordering. For example, you want to order the courses on your homepage, order the items in a specific way. Like for example, you have a position value, position field, and you want to order by descending. How do you test that in automated tests? Similarly, assert view has courses, just a callback function is more complicated. So you get all the courses from that variable, again from the controller, so these are accessible here. Then you plug the position, so only the position column, that's a collection function, and then you transform that to array. And then you can compare that array to all courses seeded, where you can do the same thing, plug position, to array. So this is my overall tip how to test if the correct data is passed to the view with a callback function of condition, whatever you want. A cert view has is a really good way to do that. If you are at the very beginning doing testing in Laravel, I will link a few videos in the description below. 
to get you started with simple examples. And also at the end of the summer, I'm planning to reshoot my course. One of the course in my yearly membership is, here's the list of the courses. In 2019, I released PHP unit testing for beginners. It was with Laravel 5.8, so it's quite outdated. And I want to reshoot that hopefully by the end of the summer. And you will get that course first if you're subscribed to the yearly membership of my courses. The link is also in the description below. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.